I'm at Sesney along the St. Lucie River in Stewart, where there's concern here about the heavy rainfall from Adalia and if it can lead to Lake Okeechobee releases. As the last bands of Adalia brushed along the Treasure Coast, Eve Samples of Friends of the Everglades talked about what worries her. We've been bracing for another toxic year, a toxic 2023 because of the high lake conditions that we entered the rainy season with. Lake Okeechobee's water now sits at 15.36 feet, just over a foot away from the target to release water and raising fears of sending algae towards Stewart. The Army Corps of Engineers says in an email they don't anticipate any changes in water management and there's been no great change in lake levels from the storm. Luckily, the intense algae bloom that we saw on the lake back in July has subsided significantly. So we are watching this current storm and concerned about it, but we're not looking down the barrel of a gun like we were a month ago. But what lies north of the lake is where all eyes are now, the chain of lakes that feed the Kissimmee River to Lake O, and which many theorize carries nitrogen runoff, fertilizer for algae. So for now, it looks as if Adalia will have a minimal impact on water levels in Lake Okeechobee. But as many here point out, we're still a week and a half away from the peak of hurricane season. In Stewart, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.